Well hello folks, so in this video I'm going to tell you how to fake audio spectrum in Premiere Pro. As we all know, Premiere Pro is not for a 3D motion video. If you want to have a better 3D spectrum, you can just use After Effects for this. But here I want to show you how to do this on Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's just jump into it. So the first thing you want to do is make a sequence by going to new item, sequence. For me, I'm going to choose DSLR 720p 60fps. Now we need to make the bar for the spectrum by going to new item, title, and I'm going to name this bar. Grab your rectangular tool, this one, and make a bar, not the thick, not the thin, something like this is okay. And take it to the center by clicking the vertical center and the horizontal center. Close this and search for that bar. So this is the one, I'm going to drag it down here. So here what I have. A simple bar and what I want to do now is go to effects and search for crop and drag it to the bar okay now to go into effect controls drag it down and we'll see the crop effect here and this is what we're going to do so I'm gonna press the stop the stopwatch icon on the top like this and then drag it up until this I think so this is as our beginning 68% and then go drag it to the middle and then drag it down to the top or something like this 26 and then jump into a certain time here and then we're going to copy this one by holding alt and drag it here so this is what we have a simple motion of a bar going up and down so because I feel like it's going to slow I'm just gonna drag it here I'm just gonna fasten it something like this Okay, something like this is okay. And then we'll search for the endpoint here. And then just going to delete this by dragging it in. So now what we're going to do is we want to copy it three times by holding Alt and drag it up here and then do it for do it for three times. So that's the first one, that's the second one, and this is the last one. And now we're going to click on this bar, going down in the effect control, and we want and we're gonna click this one and change the position of the Y to the left or the right. Something like this. And then the other one drag it to the right. And then the last one, drag it to the left or right. Something like that. And something like this. And we, if we play it, it's going to be like that. Now, because every each of bar is having the same rhythm, we want to change it a bit by using red stretch tool here or you can just press R and then just drag it like this to a certain time something like this so we have a uh, four different bar that has a different speed 
after that we need to copy it a couple of times so it gets a longer copy it to the right by like by pressing here press ctrl c press down and then ctrl v four times and then this one too we're going to copy it don't forget to make uh, the video to pop up and the video one disabled and then press up and then ctrl v four times and then this one too we're going to uh, copy video 3 four times and then this one too copy video 4 okay so we have this kind of rhythm okay so after you copy all of it uh, we need to make uh, the last copy even by using red stretch tool here and then like this one i'm going to drag it something like that going here and this one here and i don't think i need this and i'm just going to delete one okay so after that we have this We have that. After that, we want to make a nest of all of this by pressing Ctrl A and right click Nest. We, you can name the nest to whatever you want. I am just going to make a rhythm and press OK. So we have the rhythm nest here. Now for this nest, what we're going to do is copy it three times like before, going pressing Alt and drag it up three times like this, and then going to the position, drag it to the left, something like this. This one drag it to your left, your right something like this or you can use something like that and then the last one drag it to the right something like this if you want to make it um, more than this you can drag one more to make it five here and then drag it to the left side to make it even okay I think this one's cool so this is what we have that's what we have for now now use your red stretch tool again and change every bar so it's not look all the same something like this drag it like this like so drag it here and going up for the last one I'm just going to drag it to the most something like this okay so we have uh, five different bar so this is what we have okay so this is what we're going to do to make it not disappearing so we need to double click on the rhythm nest and all of this drag it to your right and then close and then double click in here so we have all of the nested sequence like this and then now we just need to drag it to make it even something like this so we have this and then we have something like this so it's going to stop 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 and stop so that's for the so that's for the bar movement but if you want to add color to the spectrum you, you can easily nest all the nested sequence here by pressing ctrl a and then going to nest it one more time okay we've nested it and click on here now search for four 
color grade it should have been somewhere here like this it's for color gradient and drag it in so we have this kind of thing if, if you want to change the color you can just change it by pressing this one and I think I'm going with blue I think I want all of this kind of bluish something like this and then going up to the blue like this and then we got greens yeah, something like this so we're actually done in here but if you want to change the background color it's actually simple by going to make a new title and I just don't want to name it it's okay you can name it background if you want to so for making a background just use the rectangular tool and drag it like this and you can change the color background to whatever you want I'm just going I'm just going with white and then close go into the side so drag it here we actually want that to be on the bottom so I'm just gonna drag it here so this is what we have so that's all hope this video helps you thank you guys for watching see you in the next video and as always stay creative